Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video. We've got the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, 4K, 30 frames per second, utilizing the front-facing camera. So you can let me know how everything looks, how everything stands, and let me know how the stability does in this video. You know, as of late, I've been uh, wanting to come on and talk about the S24 Ultra, which is a fantastic smartphone. Right out of the gate, there were some issues for a lot of you. For me, my issue with the S24 Ultra was uh, shooting video at night. The video quality just didn't stand up to what the S23 Ultra right out of the gate gave me. If I remember correctly, the S23 Ultra, when it first came out, I, I don't think there was really anything that uh, was of major complaint. Uh, from me, I know that there wasn't any complaints, but out there uh, with a lot of YouTubers, the average consumers that were bringing in this that specific smartphone, I didn't really hear a lot uh, of negative. Just It just came out and it just performed and did what it was supposed to do uh, and uh, for me the, the journey with that smartphone was amazing I traded it in for the s24 ultra and uh, again I had my issues when shooting video especially when the weather was like it is right now it's, it's raining you can't see it but it's raining out there the windshield wipers are going back and forth and the light flares that that was the other area um, I didn't have that with the S23 Ultra. In fact, I, that was uh, one of the biggest areas I bragged about with the S23 Ultra was the video quality at night, uh, especially with those two areas. I, I didn't even look at those two areas um, at that point in time because there was no reason to acknowledge that that existed because well, it didn't happen. But when I got the S24 Ultra and I started going through the reviewing process, it made me look back and say to myself, wow, I, I didn't have these issues with that device, the S23 Ultra. And a lot of you had issues with the display uh, a little bit more on the warmer side. It wasn't as vivid, sharp. The one thing that a lot of you were saying was that the uh, the quality of the display just wasn't there. Uh, and for me, it wasn't an issue. I could tell that it wasn't as vivid, but it it's still, in my opinion, the S24 Ultra dis display when watching movies and videos, fantastic. A lot of you upgraded and you weren't happy and you wish you had stuck with what you previously had. Well, since then, there's been some uh, software updates. A lot of you uh, were a lot happier with the vividness slider now there in the display settings. And uh, a lot of you are happier with that. Some of you still not that happy, uh, but more than more of you are happier with the results from the software updates. Uh, there's just a fewer of you out there that well, wish there could have been a little bit more to that software update. And for me, uh, again, those those areas that I wanted have uh, been corrected to a, 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 to a point where I, I'm definitely a lot happier. Do I have regrets? Yes, yes. I wish I would have kept my S23 Ultra. If it wasn't for the channel, because Outside of that curiosity of the next generation of smartphones, it doesn't matter if it's from Samsung or from Google, um, 
any smartphone that I may bring in from other companies, um, there's the intrigue, right? There's there's just that, mm, I wonder what that's going to be like. Uh, the excitement for the S24 Ultra wasn't the same. I know now, it wasn't the same once the reviewing process got going like it was for the S23 Ultra. For a smartphone that had... Again, for me, I didn't have any issues, but for what little there was out there um, in YouTube land or on, over the web, um, man, a superior device right out of the gate. Yeah, baby, yeah! If I wasn't doing YouTube, I, I, I would have stayed with my S23 Ultra. A lot of you know that right now I'm reviewing the Nothing Phone 2A. If I was tight on money, if I wasn't doing YouTube, and I needed a smartphone to get me through the day, there are other smartphones, other choices outside of the Nothing Phone 2A. Um, you can buy a used S21 Ultra renewed over at Amazon for around 350. Underneath the hood, it's got the power, it's got the performance, the Nothing OS gets it done, I love it. Uh, cameras are great, display is beautiful, speakers sound great. Right out of the gate, that phone, simply amazing and still amazing. And when I have that type of experience, and I look at the S24 Ultra, that thank God those updates came for a lot of you. Um, and it, for me in that, in that camera area, um, yeah, there, there's that thought process that says, man, should have just stayed with the S23 Ultra. If I was able to look into the future and known this back then when I was trading in my S23 Ultra, I, I, I still would do it because, again, it's what I do. And I enjoy it. But it doesn't mean I don't have my regrets. <laughs> So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If there's any questions on this video that you would like answered, I, I'll do my best. I will get back to you in a timely fashion. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. I'm going to go grab me a quesadilla here at one of these food trucks. Um, my favorite Mexican food truck. They make some killer quesadillas. And uh, I'm going to eat some lunch and uh, look forward to the feedback. Appreciate uh, the continuous support. Uh, thanks for being part of my Project 13. If you're not part of the team and you, you just happen to come on by and watch this video, thanks for watching. Uh, I encourage you to subscribe and share the videos on your social media. And uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate that. If there's questions on anything else that have nothing to do with this video, leave it down below in the comment section. So, uh, yeah, drop something down there, even if you just want to say hello. All right. God bless you all. Stay safe and healthy. Peace. I am out.